tonight, several presidential hopefuls are here in Florida to talk about economic growth with Florida Governor Rick Scott. CBS 4's Ted Scouten joins us live now from Orlando with what they had to say. Ted. Hi, Erica. Well, you know, Florida is a huge prize for anyone who is running for president today. More than half a dozen Republicans who are running or who could possibly be running were here for the largest event uh, in Florida this election cycle so far. Today at five, we heard from four of them. Now we hear from three more. Look, it's a rambunctious deal. We got 75 people running, I think, last time I checked. <laughs> Greeted with a standing ovation, former Florida Governor Jeb Bush touted effective conservative values as the strength behind Florida's economy. He hasn't announced a run for the White House, but he said the country needs to expect more and look toward doubling economic growth and reforming the tax code. We have to fix one of the most convoluted, complex tax codes by lowering rates and eliminating as many exemptions as possible. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie agrees. He's calling for three tax rates and getting rid of loopholes and exemptions. He also wants to raise the retirement age by two years and suggests if you have enough money, you should not collect Social Security. If you're making over $200,000 a year in retirement income, if you have that, I don't think you need the Social Security check anymore. Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal agrees with the majority of Republicans when it comes to tax reform, cutting regulations, and smaller government. He goes a step further, saying President Barack Obama has redefined the American dream and said Hillary Clinton has the same idea. Their definition of the promise of America is all about redistribution of wealth, much higher levels of taxation, guaranteed equality of outcomes instead of guaranteed equality of opportunity, government dependence. And, you know, there was a common theme with all of these uh, folks who were speaking today, including uh, tax cuts, getting rid of regulations, and killing Obamacare. And, you know, we're going to hear an awful lot more about all of that in the next year and a half as we make our way to the 2016 presidential election. Live in Orlando, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News.